Willkommen zurück bei Carthy Rain, hier bei meiner kleinen Oma. Ähm, ja, wir müssen natürlich herausfinden oder sollen herausfinden, was mit unserem Opa passiert ist. Aber zunächst schauen wir uns hier natürlich erstmal alles an, wie sich das gehört. Uh, will be kind of funny to see her reaction, but no. Aber... Grandpa in his Air Force Uniform. Looks to be in his early 20s. Okay, er war anscheinend Airline oder Air Force äh, Pilot. Planes, planes, and more planes. Okay. I used to love digging through those drawers when I was a kid, looking for coins, buttons, and trinkets. Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. Oh. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. Oh. Nah, I'm more of a coffee gal. Okay. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. Okay. Here's a big model for I remember noch. playing with that. Grandpa had a whole collection of them. Okay. Was ich übrigens auch rausgefunden habe, ist... Tada! <lacht> da ist uns kann nichts entgehen. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound of rain falling on a window. Okay. Wir gehen mal hier raus. Gucken wir mal, ob wir sonst noch in dem restlichen Haus ähm, irgendwie was machen können. Vielleicht Obergeschoss. I shouldn't overstay my welcome. Na gut. Äh, ja gut, dann würde ich sagen, gehen wir raus. Okay, rennen können wir anscheinend nicht. Wir schön mit dem Moped durch den Regen fahren. Und zwar zur Polizeiwache. Und sich da mal umzuhören, ja, was denn genau mit unserem Oppi passiert ist. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. Land of the free. Not their peak hours, it seems. <laughs> okay. Junger Cop. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. Erstmal angucken. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Bestimmt ein alter Schulkamerad. Hi. Hello. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. The hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me <laughs> in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? Okay, ja, yeah, what can we do for you today? Ich, dem möchte ich nicht meine Elektroschockwaffe zeigen. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Nakla. Well, gotta go. See ya. Yo, see ya. Schwarzes Brett, vielleicht steht da noch irgendwas? Various notices and a wanted poster. Ooh, ich will das wanted poster. I would, but I can't do that when he's right there. Maybe I can distract him somehow. Fax machines, the pinnacle of modern technology. Okay, okay, schreibtisch. I think he'd object. Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Okay, we're going to the sheriff. We're going to have to cancel lunch today. Again? Oh, man. So, sheriff, what your loss? motivation shouldn't be limited by your... Hello, sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Vorfall 81. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. 
It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, hmm. but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They are official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Mist. Uh. Can you help me? Ah, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. Okay, dann versuchen wir es nachher mal bei Lenny. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh... Boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Okay. Wir dürfen oder ja, er möchte uns gerne nichts sagen. Vielleicht kann uns Lenny doch nochmal helfen. Hey Lenny. Hello Kathy. What's up? Hey, I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Well, gotta go. See also, we must need ablenken. Looks like talking isn't gonna help me get that report. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Genau. I wonder what's behind those doors. Genau da wollte ich auch gerade hin. <laughs> Lenny, I need you to do something. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday. Jawohl, die Zellen. Okay, me a mop. Huh, very funny. Na gut, hätte ja sein können. Schwarzes Brett. No Brett. wanted posters. I'm disappointed. Bevor wir hier mit dem Typen, äh, mit dem Penner sprechen, äh, machen wir erstmal hier hinten alles unsicher. Thanks. That was getting annoying. Kein Thema. Too heavy to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Schade. Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. Ja, mitnehmen. Wer weiß, wann man es brauchen kann. A computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. <lacht> I'll need a key. Verdammt. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. Okay. Tja, aber sonst... Keine Fernseher, verschiedene Werkzeuge... Na gut, dann ähm, A jail cell. Looks cramped. Schreiben wir mal mit dem Penner. Erstmal gucken wir uns Looks an. Looks like an incarcerated bum. Ach. Das ist ja was. Hey. Hi there. <lacht> so, why they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns in grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. <laughs> you need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. 
Nine. Fifteen. <laughs> Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <laughs> Deal. Good. So, uh... Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Okay, der macht ihn... Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, oh, what now? Und da ist er weg. Okay, I have to make this quick. Alles klar. Quick. Suchen. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, okay. Also, ein paar Kilometer von Cunwell Springs entfernt wurde in der Nähe einer unbefestigten Straße eine Person aufgefunden, die mit weit aufgerissenen Augen blind herumehrte. Diese Person, als Joseph Reid identifiziert, er zeigte keinerlei Reaktion, weder als er angesprochen wurde, noch auf Berührung. Mr. Rain war von Kopf bis Fuß dreckig und schien bis an die Knie nass zu sein. Mr. Rain umklammert ein kleines Diktiergerät, in das eine Kassette eingelegt war. Er zeigte sich kooperativ und konnte zum Streifenwagen geführt werden. Anschließend wurde er in die Stadt gebracht. Mrs. Rain wurde abgeholt und gemeinsam mit Mr. Rain in die Notaufnahme des Gemeinschaftskrankenhauses gebracht. Bei einer Routineinspektion des Streifenwagens wurde ein Diktiergerät gefunden, das auf dem Rucksitz liegen gelassen wurde. Dieses wurde als Beweisstück in Schließfach Nummer 5 archiviert. Okay, wir müssen also an Schließfach Nummer 5. Hm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number 5. Got it. Alles klar. Guten Tag. Ich muss hier nochmal durch. Hey Sheriff, what's the deal with that bump? What bump? Danke. Danke, Penner. Kann ich eigentlich den kleinen Fernseher wieder so machen, dass er wieder so stört? <lacht> oh. <lacht> Alright, got it. Okay, hier ist das Diktiergerät. Und das. Können wir das nicht anhören? Note to self. Remember, the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. Uh -huh. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Okay, wir müssen also auf den Dachboden. Würde ich mal sagen, diese mit dem Blumen war auf jeden Fall wahrscheinlich irgendwie ein Code. Für was auch immer. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. Oh, oh. What? Do you eat food? I, I mean, food? <lacht> Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes. I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and <laughs> then maybe we can eat the food together? Uh, geil. Oh, nein, Gott nein, auf keinen Fall. Ich würde mir tatsächlich lieber das eigene Bein abnagen. I'm really busy right now. No. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. Aber eine Errungenschaft. So, wir müssen wieder zu Omi. Und wir müssen ins Obergeschoss. I should probably ask Grandma Nein. first. Na gut. Dann fragen wir erst Omi. Hallo oh, Omi. Oh, hello dear. Was geht ab, Oma? Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Um. Thanks, Grandma. 
You are welcome, dear. Be careful now. <laughs> Danke, Oma. Also, the ja, da ist wieder die Schalter. Nothing. So. The bulb must be burned out. No. Okay. Das habe ich mir gedacht, man sieht nämlich nichts. Können wir nicht Feuerzeug benutzen? Nah, it's drafty in here and almost out of fuel. Gonna need it for my smokes. Was? The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Na gut, dann gehen wir jetzt wieder ins Erdgeschoss. Und wir suchen mal im Wohnzimmer. Äh, hier in den Schubladen. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, dear. Okay, wir fragen Omi. Mind if we talk for a bit? Not at all. The lights are out in the attic. Oh, well, there should be a whole box of light bulbs around here somewhere. Do you remember where? Now, where did I put it? Oh, dear, I think it's in the attic. Oh, man. That's just terrific. I'm sure you'll figure it out, dear. Yeah, guy. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Ja, geil. Okay, also wir müssen auf den dunklen Dachboden, um da eine Kiste voll mit Glühbirnen zu finden, um dann mit dieser Glühbirne den Dachboden wieder hell zu machen. Alles klar. Können wir nicht hier? Vielleicht? Na, nah, it's drafty in here. Ja, aber ich bräuchte eine Taschenlampe oder so. Na ja, gut, was ich glaube... Ich glaube, wir fahren mal zurück zu unserer Studentenbude. Wir haben doch bestimmt eine Taschenlampe oder so. Oder? Oh fuck, wir können gar nicht zur Studentenbude fahren. Die Polizeiwache, das meinte ich. Die haben doch bestimmt eine Taschenlampe. Und hier der Typ steht eher auf uns. Wenn er mit uns essen gehen will, brauche ich eine hey, Taschenlampe. Hallo, Kathy. Was ist Dachboden. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Okay. Well, Keine gotta Dachboden. Go. See ya. Ciao. Na nee, gut, dann äh, gehen wir mal hier in die Asservatenkammer. Also Vielleicht äh, ist da irgendwie eine Taschenlampe. Am Stiesel. Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Komm, wir machen wir nochmal aus hier. Verschiedene Werkzeuge. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. Too heavy to carry. Vielleicht wäre da ein. Oh, vielleicht wäre da doch ein Dingens gewesen hier, so eine Taschenlampe oder so. Hm. Hm. Aber wo kriegen wir die dann her? Hier auf dem Friedhof? Ich meine, alles andere <lacht> wird ja. Wir fahren mal zum Friedhof. Vielleicht gibt es auf dem Friedhof eine Taschenlampe. Kann ja sein. Ein Grabstein. Steven kann ich nicht, okay. Ähm. Oh, hier ist das Grab von Opi. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. Na klar. No reason to go in there. Okay, also hier kriegen wir auch keine Taschenlampe. Okay, dann kann es eigentlich nur in dem Haus von der Omi sein. Dann fahren wir da nochmal eben fix hin. Kann ich nicht vielleicht die nehmen? Free light bulb. Aha. Score. <lacht> okay, damit haben wir eine Glühbirne. 
Und mit dieser Glühbirne werden wir in der nächsten Folge hier in das Obergeschoss gehen und oben mal Licht anmachen. Ich bedanke mich an dieser Stelle recht herzlich fürs Zuschauen. Wir sehen uns dann bei der nächsten Folge von Carthy Rain. Bis dahin, auf Wiedersehen.